More than 50 years ago, after Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon, their boot prints remain fresh on the lunar planet. And according to NASA, they'll remain there for the next century. That's only one of the endless phenomena that you'll find in the mysterious vacuum of space called the universe. Join us in today's video as we don our spacesuits and walk you through mind-blowing facts about space that will question your existence. From diamond rain to superfast stars and shrinking planets, the facts in this video will leave you speechless. It rains diamonds in Saturn, Jupiter, and two other planets. Diamonds are some of the most precious and expensive items on Earth. But if you could somehow make the trip down to Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, or Neptune in one piece, you can literally own as many diamonds as you want. But before you book your hoop on the spaceship, there's one more thing you need to know. These diamonds don't last too long to be harvested. The intense temperature and pressure on these planets help to break down the molecules of methane to release carbon, which kickstarts the diamond formation process. However, once these diamonds drop through the incredibly hot layers of the planets, they vaporize and return back to the atmosphere to restart the diamond rain cycle. Galaxies eat themselves. Cannibalism is a constant feature in the animal kingdom, with over 1,500 species participating in the act. It happens occasionally amongst humans as well. But who would have thought that gigantic cannibalism would be a thing? Well, it is. In fact, there's a well-documented 10 billion year old history of big galaxies consuming other smaller galaxies. The sun is way bigger than you think. For many of us, soaking up the sun on the beach is a perfect vacation scenario. But what you probably didn't know is that that tiny little circle that radiates vitamin D from 150 million miles away is big enough to swallow about 1 million Earths. But that's not all. This gigantic star contains 99.98% of the solar system's mass. It's 330,000 times heavier than the Earth and 400 times larger than the Moon. The Sun has a diameter of 864,000 miles. To put that in perspective, if you travelled at 60 miles per hour without having to refuel or stop for snacks and drinks, you'll need five years to complete a full orbit around the Sun. In contrast, you'll only need 17 days to complete a non-stop trip around the Earth. The Sun isn't burning. The Sun is a hot glowing giant ball of hydrogen and helium. So hot that its surface alone can reach temperatures of up to 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit nearly five times as hot as the hottest lava on our planet. And that's just the surface, according to NASA. The core of the Sun can exceed 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. According to experts, the Sun generates about 300 million tonnes of energy per minute, which is equivalent to exploding 100 billion tonnes of dynamite every second. But despite these extremely hot temperatures and high energy levels, the Sun doesn't actually burn. This is because burning is a chemical reaction that cannot happen without oxygen. But since that part's not present, the sun uses a process called nuclear fusion to generate a massive amount of energy it distributes to the planets around it. A day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. No matter how slow you walk, you'll probably never go slower than Venus, the slowest spinning space element in the universe. And critically, in Venus, days are longer than years. But how is this possible? This is because Venus takes 225 Earth days to complete one revolution around the Sun, which equals one year. Meanwhile, this inhospitable planet needs 243 days to rotate around its own axis, which is what makes a day. It takes the Sun hundreds of millions of years to orbit. We've talked about how long it takes Venus to orbit the Sun, so it's only fair that we discuss how the Sun itself rotates. Believe it or not, it takes the Sun 225 million years to complete its journey around the centre of the Milky Way. It's safe to say dinosaurs were around the last time the Sun completed a full orbit. Mercury is shrinking. 
Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system, is shrinking. It's been that way since the universe was formed some 4.5 billion years ago, losing about 14 kilometers in width, and it continues to contract even as you watch this video. There's a giant ball of alcohol floating in space. Way back in 1995, scientists stumbled upon a massive brewery of alcohol and spirits some 26,000 light years away from Earth. And apparently, there's enough to go round. But Sagittarius B, as it is called, is basically a giant cloud of alcohol. According to reports, the alcohol in this enormous space bar is large enough to fill 400 trillion trillion pints of beer. To exhaust that much alcohol, everyone on Earth would have to consume 300,000 pints every day for 1 billion years. The Earth is not a sphere. Hands up if you've never described the Earth as a perfect sphere. No hands? Just what we expected. However, the truth is, even though pictorial evidence suggests otherwise, the Earth and many other planets and moons are not perfectly round. Like all other rotating elements, the Earth experiences a centrifugal force as it spins, and this creates a slight bulge at the equator than it is at the poles, making the planet look like an ellipsoid. High mountains and deep ocean trenches further distort this shape, but the difference is almost negligible. Rogue planets. Like humans, planets sometimes cannot contain their curiosity. So, they escape their original home and head for greener pastures. This sounds like a good idea, except that these straying planets can be as big as Jupiter and sometimes travel at speeds of up to 30 million miles per hour, meaning there's a possibility that one of them might stray too far from home and collide into Earth. We hope that that's not the case, though. There are countless numbers of galaxies out there. Trust us when we say the universe is a vast emptiness of space because it really is. Occupying this space are several billions and billions of galaxies. At the last count, there were about two trillion galaxies in the universe and more are being discovered daily. Let's hope we'll discover one that supports life soon. Uranus tilts sideways. Uranus has an odd 90 degree orientation. First, the planet rotates on its side, resembling a ball rolling around the sun. According to NASA's Uranus guide, the planet's peculiar orientation is most likely due to a cataclysmic collision in the distant past, creating the solar system's most intense season. No sound in space. It is literally impossible to hear sound in the vast emptiness of space, at least not in the way that we hear it on Earth. Crucially, sound travels through the vibration of particles. However, there are very few or no particles to be vibrated in space, making it impossible to hear sound. This is actually to our advantage, though because, if it was any different, the sounds generated by the sun would have been amplified to us at 100 decibels. That would mean listening to a rock concert every second of the day. Neutron stars are faster than jumbo jets. You probably wouldn't find many giant objects that travel faster than a jumbo jet here on Earth. But not in the world beyond, where gigantic stellar objects like neutron stars move at neck-breaking speeds. The world's fastest passenger plane, the Airbus A380, travels at 1,185 kilometers per hour. Now, compare that with neutron stars that complete 43,000 revolutions per minute or 1,500 kilometres per second. There's an abundance of water and stars in space. Do you know that there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on Earth? Oh, and there's plenty of water up there as well. Recent records show that there are over 200 sextillion stars in the universe, and scientists have found more water in space than they thought possible. Spacecrafts have visited every planet. Space exploration has been on for about 60 years, but scientists have been able to send spacecraft to every planet in our solar system, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune as well as two dwarf planets called Pluto and Ceres. 
The Voyager 1 is the most traveled spacecraft. For obvious reasons, humans have been restricted to exploring space through the eyes of spacecraft. But of all these probe machines, the Voyager 1 is the one that has explored the most. It left our solar system completely in 2013, and currently it's 124.34 astronomical units away from Earth. Only one planet supports life. Scientists have searched far and wide through the entire universe in hopes of finding another habitable planet. Hundreds of millions of man-hours and billions of dollars have been spent, yet we haven't been able to find a replacement for Earth. The search continues anyway, but until we find an alternative, Earth remains our home. The tallest mountain is situated in space. Apparently, Mount Everest is small in the scale of things. Here on Earth, Mount Everest gets all the accolades for having the highest height peak. However, that changes the moment you cross the Kármán line, because the Olympus Mons is somewhere on Mars. At 15.5 miles, Olympus Mons is the tallest mountain in the entire universe. Not to mention that it spreads across 374 miles, which is equivalent to the land space of Arizona. Astronauts drink recycled urine. NASA astronaut Jessica Meir once said, today's coffee is tomorrow's coffee. Whether here on Earth or in outer space, water is essential to human survival. But transporting water to space is a complicated task. Space exploration has taught us a great deal. At the same time, it has also given us more riddles to unravel than we could have imagined. It is left to be seen how much of these mysteries will be solved by science.